Have you been sitting there waiting, looking, lurking, trying to find out whether or not that AI thing when you're writing is real and you just want to dabble? You just want to dabble? Well, I have the program for you. You can dabble for free with Raptorite. So come on, I'm going to show you how it works. And as always, this is brought to you by the Future Fiction Academy. It is the best place to learn everything there is to know about artificial intelligence and writing. We have comprehensive classes, standalone classes, courses that come out every month for everyone to consume. We have a great thing called the Accelerator that if you decided you wanted to get into it and you really wanted to take your writing to the next level and publish your first book, you need to get in the Accelerator and we will teach you all there is to know about writing with artificial intelligence. Now, let's get back to the video. The best way to get your hands on Raptorite is to go to raptorite.com. That's R-A-P-T-O-R-W-R-I-T-E.com. And if you click there, all you'll have to do at that point is sign in or register for free. If you click register for free over here, it'll take you over to the Future Fiction Academy. And then all you have to do is enroll now in your free new Raptorite course right there. And it'll give you a nice little free overview of what Raptorite is. And then you'll just enroll right there. And then once you do that, you'll have credentials to log into Raptorite. Authorize right there and it says authentication successful and then after you do that then you get some instructions it says here welcome to raptor right plus to get the most out of raptor right plus please review the instructions to learn about all of the available features and then you view the instructions or you dismiss and keep going you can even never see this again if you want to so I'm gonna hit dismiss right there. And now we're in the main interface of Raptorite. It's actually a pretty intuitive program because if you want to, there's these two little arrows right here and this thing just becomes a pure processor. It makes word, you can type all of the words you want with your cut and your paste and your copy and your justifications, bold, italic, underlined, all of the stuff that you would usually have, plus a couple of new ones, including a if you like it button or if you don't like it when an AI output something. You can also have some clean markdown going on if you want to meaning that sometimes the AIs decide that they want to output something different <laughs> with a markdown kind of printed in there, not actually giving you the markdown. And that way you can clean it up right there with one button. And then you can either rerun your LLM or show the last prompt or preview the prompt. So if you have a prompt that you've built and that you're getting ready to deploy, then you can preview it. And if you have something that you already did, you can look at what the last prompt is to see how you might have messed up what you had in there. OK, and then up here you've got your download current documents, all docs, download story and save unsaved changes. This is a big difference now. If you save your unsaved changes, once you click this, then this green button synced will light up and you will be you will be sent up to the cloud. As a matter of fact, uh, I already set up my actual cloud account. Uh, it's called the Nexus. And uh, once you set up the Nexus, it it'll get you all settled in and you can just use the Nexus for your API keys and your documents, your projects. Most of this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. Once you get down, once you go over to open a router, pick up a key and you're good to go. <laughs> okay. Go over to open router, give them some money, pick up a key. You're good to go. And all of this is pretty intuitive. And I have 
done other Raptorite tutorials that you can go back to and see uh, in depth me breaking down, going all the way over to Raptorite and the whole nine yards. As a matter of fact, I will try my best to add that uh, link to that video in the description below and maybe I'll even have it pop up above my head. Okay, and that's it. The, 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 the program is really simple. You can use the AI or you cannot use AI. Once you've gotten this set, uh, once you got this set up, you already, all you have to do is click on open router right there and uh, you can go with a, a, the FFA's top models, or you can uh, look at all of the models if you want to and go through each and every one of them if you wanted to. Uh, it's quite a long list of <laughs> different ones. I personally, personally, I'm more of a uh, chat GPT sort of person. So I'm gonna go with five right there. And you know, if you wanted to, you could use this thing to do some programming too, but we won't talk about that. This thing is an everything machine. You can make it in, make it do whatever you want. It's an everything machine. Uh, this is a subject I covered on last Friday's live stream. And I realized that a lot of people had not had an opportunity to play around with this wonderful free piece of software uh, where, remember, I've got links below right in the description so that you can get your hands on Raptorite Plus. Now, all of this information in the settings is uh, pretty self-explanatory. You can view the instructions on how to play around with Raptorite, uh, all the things that it does, how it does it. You can change the visual theme, which has a whole bunch of different, uh, right there. You can change it to something a little lighter and a little uh, more pastel -y. And this actually, uh, we have a program called Your First Draft, and this is starting to fit in the visual makeup of all of the other programs that we've been developing. This is very exciting. And you can create hotkeys when you are ready to deploy an AI. What you're going to do is you're going to actually click on this button right here, which is the forward slash, not the backslash, but the forward slash, and that will deploy your AI. If you have the AI API key set up and you've given them money, what happens is when you click here and you hit a couple of enters right there, all you have to do is hit the forward slash button and it will continue from where it was before. It's going to think a little while because it's already set up with uh, medium reasoning and I've given it a certain amount right here, medium reasoning and a certain amount that you can look at right there. And that right there is the easiest way for you to make it dumb or make it smart. And right now it's working on a prompt and it's adhering to this new prompt build right here, which I had worked on a long time ago, but I'm just using this as an example. The actual quote actually prompt right here is for it to make a prompt to do uh, and another thing. And that was an easy thing for me to build with the AI and everything set up and every aspect, including the output limit and the temperature and the reasoning model and what model I'm actually using is all set up. And once that is all set up, you are really kind of in a fugue state with the AI. You can work with it in a way that it just immediately, immediately looks at you and says, hey, I want to do this thing perfectly for you. And you can flow back and forth. If the prompt doesn't work, open up a new document, start a new thread of information to go back and forth with. Make sure that things aren't turned on uh, that you don't want turned on, but actually let me show you what I mean when I say turned on <laughs> things. Over here you have folders and you have actual documents. This entire thing is a project. So we're working within the brain test sci-fi project right now. And what I did last Friday was kind of go through this kind of snowflake method where I took every single thing that I 
had from the previous prompt or the previous document and I cascaded it forward into even more of a much more succinct story. And that's how I got to the end of the whole process. I started with one simple idea is I wanted it to be the best writer of fiction, science fiction that it possibly could be. And once it was that, it was, uh, we were off to the races. As a matter of fact, we were so off to the races that I was able to kind of crank out five concepts, an idea, take that idea and start to make a synopsis, a synopsis, a synopsis. And as I looked at the synopsis, I actually, let me go ahead on and save right here. And I took this, uh, let me see, suggest active your suggestion on this document. Would you like to, you have an active suggestion on this document. Would you like to commit or discard? Uh, oh, I see. Okay. So it will not let you move on unless you decide on whether or not you like what the output of the AI is. And so at the very bottom here, as you can see over here in the corner, I have to insert this into the document and there it's now in the document and I can move on to another part of the document or another part of the folder or another part of the entire project to be quite honest with you. So this right here, ends up being the end of the quest. This is a very comprehensive, long thought out synopsis of what the actual story is going to be in the long run. I didn't necessarily like it because it hadn't, it did not quite execute it the way I wanted it to, but, but remember, you have the power, you have the control. As a matter of fact, you have so much of the control that you can do whatever you want with this. As a matter of fact, if you wanted to, you can create predetermined prompts. Some of them you can use when you highlight something and some of them you can use when you're not highlighting anything <laughs> at all, okay? You can use it as its own shortcut and that shortcut can take you straight to the action that you want to do. So let's say you want to uh, have a easy peasy book machine where it is all set up by these shortcuts. And every time you highlight something and then hit the easy peasy book machine, uh, one of the prompts, you hit the next part of the actual process and you crank through an entire chapter and it's revised to the point where all you have to do is do some minor touch-ups here and there. And that is the power of Raptor Write Plus. I tried to do this all in one single take. I'm sure I messed up <laughs> just a little bit, but that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is Raptor Write in a nutshell, the quickest I could possibly do it. There's much more that we could cover in this, but I wanted to make sure we had exactly kind of the primer, the easy, easy part <laughs> of learning a free piece of software that you can use. And do me a favor, this is the Future Fiction Academy. We are people who help you learn how to write with artificial intelligence. If you like any of this, please hit the like button down below, subscribe to the video, and I will see you in class.